Hey, what's up, fellas? How we doing, man? It's Anelli here. Uh, today, answering some questions for you guys. Uh, today's question is on base coaches and what they're talking to the runners about, whether it's the first base coach uh, or the third base coach. You know, in between every pitch, you're going to see the base or the base coach go over to the base runner, and you'll see them kind of talking to them. Sometimes you see them whispering something in their ear. And so we're going to kind of talk about, you know, what are they telling them? A lot of people say, hey, these guys are major league players. What do they need coaches for on the bases? Well, there's a lot of stuff going on in the game. Um, and a lot of it is just reminders. Um, so let's go over kind of the, the different things that, that base coaches are going to be talking to runners about. Uh, before we get into it, uh, check out the description box below. We've got a deal going on with Plate Crate. You guys get 50% off your first Plate Crate. If you click on the link, type in Antonelli into the coupon uh, code. Uh, you guys will get a 50% deal off of your first plate crate. Uh, okay, so let's start over at first base. When a runner gets on first base, um, one of the first things you're going to see, and you're going to see this in between every single pitch, is the first base coach is going to have a stopwatch on him, and he's timing the time of the pitcher to the plate. So when the pitcher lifts his front foot, the clock starts. When the ball is caught by the catcher, the clock stops. That time is going to determine if you will run or not as a base runner. So as a base runner, you're using that time, time to the plate. You're using catcher's pop time, which you'll already kind of know from beforehand from scouting reports. So you'll already have an idea. Is he a 2-0, a 2-1, a 1-9, depending on the level that you're at. You're going to take the time to the plate. You're going to add it together with the pop time. And that's going to give you time, 3-3-5, 3-4, whatever it is. And you're going to already know how long it takes you to get from your lead to second. So you can do quick math and figure out, okay, am I going to make it here? Is it going to be a judgment, you know, a coin flip? Um, am I going to get thrown out? And so that's what you're going to see every single time. You know, you're going to come back to the base. Base coach is going to look at his watch. You're going to step in. And all he's going to say is three, three, five, you know, whatever. So everyone, typically everyone's going to be one point something. And so usually they'll just reach in and be like, hey, two or three, you know, three, five four whatever they're just letting you know the time so that you can decide if you want to run or not a lot of times in the major leagues and at higher levels guys will have green lights if they're able to steal bases and so that's all they need a quick little you know what's the time and if they want to go they go if they don't they don't um okay so that's the first thing the second thing is you know the reminding the, the base runner of the outs so again you think it's something simple like you know the guy should know the outs very true but 162 game season, there's a lot of base runners. A guy could forget, you know, once in a while. And you don't want that one time for the base runner to forget to cost the team a game. And so, you know, it's always going to be, hey, we got one out here. Hey, one out, one out. You're just going to, it's always going to be reminding the base runner how many outs there are. The other thing they're going to remind him of are things like, um, you know, ball and dirt read. So there's a ball in the dirt. You might remind the guy here, you know, two outs, hey, aggressive here, ball in the dirt, right? So, if there's a ball in there, you're going to be a little bit more aggressive with two outs when you're on first base because you're going to try to get in the scoring position. If there's nobody out, you're not going to be as aggressive. So they may just be reminding you of things. Um, they may remind you if it's first and third and there's nobody out, or excuse me, there's one out, right? They may remind you not to get tagged on a double play because if there's a little ground ball to second base and the second baseman comes in and fields it and he's able to quickly tag you out and throw the ball to first base and there's there was one out, now the run doesn't score. Um, if there's, you know, if you slow down and make him chase you and give the ball up, now the runner may score. And then you get in a run down and the run scores. So he may remind you that, hey, one out here, don't get tagged in the double play. Don't get tagged in ground ball to second base. Um, he'll also remind you to pick up your outfielders. So when you're a runner at first base, it's important to know where the right fielder is. Because on a ball, when you get your lead and you get your secondary, a ball hit over your head to right field, you're going to have to turn all the way around to see. So if you already have an idea where the right fielder is when the ball is hit, boom, you can take off. It's a line drive. Let's say you know he's playing in the gap. He's shaded towards the gap. And there's a ball hit more towards the line. Well, you don't have to turn around and look and say, oh, where's he? Oh, there he is. By that time, it's too late. Now you may not get first or third, or you may not score. And so you always want to know where he is. So they may say, hey, pick up your outfielders here. Just reminding you again. Really, really simple stuff. Um, he may be reminding you at the big league level where to take the runner out at. So maybe you've got a, a second baseman that's always turning the ball on the inside part of the base. He may come in and be like, hey, this guy turns the ball, you know, this guy turns on the inside. 
head inside on a ground ball, or maybe it's outside or whatever, just giving you an idea of where you should go to take the runner out, or I shouldn't say take the runner out, to break up the double play. Um, so again, just a lot of reminders. Um, there's a bunch, there's more stuff, but that's just to give you an idea of some of the things that, that um, they're going to talk about. Uh, third base. When you get to third base, they're going to, again, they're going to, they're going to give you, uh, first of all, whenever they put a sign on, you know, a lot of times they'll kind of come over and let's say it's a squeeze situation, right? They may come over if it's a squeeze and tell you the squeeze is on, but they're also going to come over every time and say, hey, nothing's on here, right? Just to make the other team, you know, so it's not obvious if you come over and say, hey, squeeze is on here, right? Maybe it's first and third and we're putting a steal on. They may come over and say, hey, he's going here, right? Or, hey, we got nothing here. So a lot of times it's just coming over and just letting the guy know if something on or if nothing's on, just to make sure that he gets um, he gets the sign. He's going to talk a lot when you get to third base about what we're going to do on a ground ball. So if there's less than two outs, you know, there's two options. We can go on a ground ball or we can stay on a ground ball. So if they're playing the infield in, you know, with nobody out infield in, we'll probably stay. Um, nobody out in the infield back, we're going to go. If the corners are in, you know, there's all different things that the coach is going to decide. So he's going to come up to you and say, hey, we got nobody out here. Corners are in. Ground ball to the corner. We're going to stay here. Up the middle, you're free to go. Okay, cool. Right? So let's say there's one out and they bring the infield in. Maybe we're going to put a contact play on. So he's going to come up to you and be like, hey, one out here, infield in. We're going to put, put the contact play on here. Get a good read. Get going on a down angle. So, you know, all that stuff is going to be talking uh, strategy. Just, you know, are we going to go on a ground ball? Are we going to stay on a ground ball? I'm going to always remind you to tag up on a fly ball of the outfield. Right? So he's going to tell you that and he's going to say, you know, fly ball the outfield. We're tagging here. One out. Okay. Um, Again, just reminding you of stuff. Uh, what else here? Um, you know, depending on the level again, you know, like when we, when there's two outs and two strikes, I'm going to remind the guy at third base every time, hey, two outs here, two strikes, let's be aggressive on ball in the dirt. Okay. Or if, you know, if I don't want them to be aggressive, you know, there's nobody out, um, you know, hey, ball in the dirt here, it's really got to get past them. Right. So again, depending on the level, you're a little bit lower level, there's going to be a lot more pass balls and wild pitches. You're going to reiterate that stuff. Um, to the base runner so again there's a whole lot of stuff that get, that goes into it and again there's probably 20 things 25 more things that i didn't cover today but everything you know there's a lot that comes up in a baseball game especially when you play at a high level there's a lot of things that um you know players have to think through and sometimes they're gonna forget to think through something right and so all the coach is there to do is just kind of refresh your memory, remind you about any of the situations so that you're paying attention and you're ready to go. And it's going to happen pitch to pitch. So, you know, some people think that those that they're out there and they're not doing anything. Oh, they just stand out there and watch the game. No, they're always coaching, reminding, going over the situations, how many outs there are. Um, you know, another thing I forgot to mention, situation in the game as far as score and innings. So, you know, there's going to be certain situations where you're going to be a little bit more aggressive on the bases, right? Uh, there's going to be certain situations where you're not going to be aggressive. So, you know, if you're down by four, you know, he may remind you, hey, down by four here. Got to be sure here. Go base to base. Or we're going to be a little bit more cautious on the bases. We're not going to take chances down by four. Maybe you're down by one. Uh, maybe you're up by a couple and you're going to be a little bit more aggressive. You know, he'll tell you that. Hey, up by two here. Here, be aggressive here. Take a chance if you got it. So he's, uh, again, the, the score and the situation in the game and the inning is going to dictate stuff. You know, maybe you're a little bit more aggressive early in the game. Maybe late in the, later in the game, you're not as aggressive. Uh, it just really depends on how the game's going and how it's flowing. Uh, but they're always going to be coaching you. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Let me know if you have any questions or if you think of anything that I forgot. Um, let me know in the comment section below. Um, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to check out the uh, description box, 50% off for Plate Crate. Uh, also, we have a bunch of links to books and uh, training tools we use for all of our players, so check those out. Um, check out our Instagram, Antonio Baseball, our Twitter feed, Man Antonio 9, where I'm posting videos all the time for you guys. Check out our website, AntonioBaseball.com, to learn how to work with our, uh, our staff and be part of our team. And that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much again for watching. I appreciate it, and we'll talk to you later.